Hey guys, Average Man here, reviewing Transformers War for Cybertron Siege, Decepticon Phantom Strike Squadron, and here's the squad, and here's the box they come in, and, woo, Siege War for Cybertron, these are Decepticons, see, the Decepticon Phantom Strike Squadron, I was in line, so who do we have here, here, this is the guy, Pterodactyl, as I think I called Pteraxodon earlier, uh, well, we could just see one MicroMaster right there. Whoa, green light. What are you doing back there? She's going incognito. Oh no, we blew her cover. And then we have another Battle Master there. Who are they? We'll find out when we turn the box. And here he is, Skywarp. And at the bottom of the box, some words. The side of the box, Decepticon Phantom Strike Squadron. And outside we still have authentic, so I know it's good. And we're at an angle because it's so close to the camera, I don't want to bump it. We have that Siege artwork. Nice. And the top of the box, tells you what it is. Woo! Here we have Skywarp here in 22 steps. No way. Shroot, we have Shroot, the name of this Battlemaster. He is a partner to... Spinister, I think. So and then we have Fracus. He is a he is a target master for Scourge. And where's the other one? What's there's up here, okay. Pterodaxo. He is a new character, so he will be his target master. I have now declared is now canon. Change that TF wiki. And then yes, versus the Autobot Alpha Strikes Counterforce. Now this this package was also an Amazon exclusive. So you want to buy this? I guess you gotta go to Amazon.com. And the good thing is, or not the good thing, but what neat thing is, if you might remember the previous reveal, why did this box look so different? Isn't the Transformers logo on this side? Well, if we back up a bit, we could see. Do, 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 do. It makes one big photo op <laughs> between the squadron and the counterforce. That's neat. So you want to have this to display? <laughs> That's a, a neat little thing. So, let's see what we have here. Let's start from Battlemasters and work our way up. So we got Pterodactyl. He is a remoting, not remoting, a recolor of Pteraxodon. If I'm saying that name right, I'm not sure. Look at that. Focus, focus. There you go. That mode of detail. He's a little Pterodactyl, of course. Comes with a little blast fire particle effect. Boop. Look at him a little bit more. Articulation wise, this is his tail's back here, but some people will call this a tail or just a gun on his back. It does go up and down as you see fit. His wings go in and out. However, you want to display his flight pattern. His little feet going up and down, up and down. Ah, we could hear some Cybertronian music outside. Boop, boop. And his head does go up and down. A lot of these movements are just based on transformation, but however you want to display your little pterodactyl is up to you. So let's transform them. It's a transformer after all, it's in the name. So we're just gonna come over here in the head. Fold them all the way down. Fold up the legs as well. Come over here. Just angle the wings in an axe-like formation. What? Come over here. Take out this gun. Becomes a big handle. And there we go. He is now an axe ready for action. Get it? Get it? Get it? Now you want. You could place this. See these three? We got 
ports in a slot on this side or on this side to make it seem like whenever it's more like a, a striking motion like a hammer have that effect now this one's a little bent I know there's a way like with warm water I think I, I'm not gonna try it I, I don't care at that much but you want to bend this a certain way there are there are remedies online to check it out I don't know those remedies by heart for any soft plastic materials on any of your figures to mold them the way you like oh, that's it for him we'll come over here with fracas he does come with little little boom effects I guess more fire blast effects Put this to the side for now. Now I think this is the mode for fire drive. I'm not sure because again the feet launchers make it seem like it. Take a look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is a weapon. The weapon should do. Now it looks like he does have two handles. One right here and one right here. This one, I don't know if it fits anywhere. Let's, let's get this Covert Clone Sideswipe. It will just be too loose. Hmm. Alright, let's transform this little bugger. <laughs> Come over here. Just like mostly all the gun battle masters. It's the same transformation. Take the tab from his thigh. We're going to unfold him, make this crotch piece, lack of a better term, into his torso. We'll just fold that up. There you go. And then come over here. Hey, he's hiding. Whoop. Take down his backpack. And you could just separate the legs since they're connected by the heel. Or not the heel. Side of the back of the leg, the back of the heel. And there you go. That is Fracas. He was the target ma master for Scourge. Scourge came previously in the previous toy line of uh, Titans Returns. Let's look at that detail. Let's see if we focus on his face a bit. There you go. Not bad. Nice transformer. Oh, I hope I don't get copy strike because of the music playing if it's getting recorded. Do, 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 do. Nice. But wait, what was that? Let's see. What is this for then? It was for smaller figures to hold, but the smaller figures. Oh, this is for him to carry because you could pop this off. Duh. That's what it's for. Carry his own gun. Duh. There's always a purpose for everything. You just gotta figure out what it is. There you go. And it just fits back in with some friction. Now, we gotta see him with his partner, right? So let's transform him back to his gun mode real quick. Just really easy. Really easy. Don't... Eh. I said really easy. Why does it wanna? Why doesn't wanna bend? Huh? Oh, am I am I doing something wrong here? Oh, okay, he goes front. Duh. Uh huh. Always when I'm on camera, I forget the small steps. Do fits in there. The his toes will fit into the barrel. And we'll don't have to put them all in place for now. Well, we'll bring in Scourge from Titans Returns toy line. And they are finally partnered up once again in the modern day. There you go. So technically, Scur uh, Fracas was available, but as a Titan Master. As a, I mean, as a Headmaster. So this was... 
the Scourge that came with... No, Fracas, I'm sorry. Fracas that came with Scourge a bit? But he was a Titan Master. Headmaster. Right, whatever they want to be called these days. You know what? Let's check out the head scope. Was it a good... Good uh, representation? Focus? Focus. Focus. Doesn't want to focus. Well, yeah, it's passable. So let's transform his head back. There you go. Off to the side with you. You are not part of this review anymore. So we'll have him there for now. Join little pterodactyl. Now we go on to Shroot. Shroot is a target master for Spinister. But Spinister is still in his package. I haven't taken him out yet. We'll get to him when we get to him. Now, as just the same as Fracas. Same transformation, just different modes. Different modes of the arms, the legs, the backpack, the torso and the head. But same transformation. This guy is a, I think he's a recolor of a different battle master we did. I'm not sure. But let's begin taking out the arms. Going over here. Actually, you know what? He may just be another recolor of a trench foot because I, this big one. And blowpipe. Not not all the time you see the little Decepticon symbols or Autobot symbols on these little guys, but he has one right there. Actually, you know what? Let's bring it let's bring out trench foot. Yup, it is the same mode. It's the same mode, just different paints. Right? No, different arms. Same torso, different arms. Different legs? Different legs, yes. The same, they, some share the same, no, wait, yes, because same torsos, just different arms and different legs and different backpacks. Alright, not bad, not bad. But just, I'm not going to go back to him for articulation, it's the same thing, head is one piece to the tor body, head, the arms are on a ball joint, full 360 motion. Ball joint legs, full 360 motion. Nothing at the elbow, wrist, knees, or feet. You could look up if you wanted to. Backpack goes up and down. And by look up, I mean unfold his body. And we'll, we'll return to him a little bit later when we, when we reveal Spinister. And now for the main attraction. Let's get these out of the way. Skywarp. And yes, he is another Seeker. Woo! Voyager class. He is just like... He is exactly like Red Wing and Starscream. Look at that. Decepticon symbol. Now again, his symbol still looks like that the movie version so I'm not sure if I'm wrong that this is not the movie version or just an updated classic one I could be wrong I could be totally wrong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think does he have the same well, well we'll come back to this later I want to say does he have the same pattern or is every single single sky warp this pattern Every single, single, I can't talk. Single star scream has a different pattern. Every single red wing has a different pattern. Or do they all share the same? Hmm. That is, that is something to think about. All that battle damage. Now for comparison in vehicle mode, here he is with Prowl. A common deluxe class size. Now, 
Let's transform him since he is a transformer. It's in the name. Now, I did mention I did have trouble with Starscream, but while transforming Skywarp, it didn't give me much trouble. So, I think it's just the Sky or Starscreams. So, what we're going to do first is right here at the lip. Move this. We just did this video two videos ago. Over here. Take that out. The lip will go in below, uh, below that. What we're going to do is come up here and take this out. It's not going to come out all the way because the chest piece is in the way. So we shall unhinge that. Bring that out. See? It's not loose at all. They fixed it for Skywarp. Now, below the wing, there are some pegs that go into the arms. You can see these two pegs will go into the forearm right, right in those, those three, well, the two outer ones. Same thing over here. Just hold on, lift the wing. Get that out of the way. Come over here. Take away the, the arms from the legs. Two slots. Two pegs. And then we'll just disconnect the legs from their body. These two tabs will fit in there. And yes, I'm going to do this for every Seeker. <laughs> also, when you're transforming into Jet, a little spring-loaded action in the back of his legs. Because if you just lift it up, it's not going to go. You need to press in to continue the fold. Come down here. Take out the feet, the toes, and the heels. Spread them. Same over here. Spread them. And then we we'll turn the whole lower body around. You may just want to remove the, uh, move the nose cone so you have clearance. Move the arms to the... They were like this. Move them that way. Bring down the chest piece. And you, these hinges, you want to press them down. So they fit a bit and just lock it in place. Come over here. You can open up the forearms. Again, I always forget where is the opening. No, that's the hinge. Where, where's the opening? There it is. I am doing it. Right here. I'm off camera. I'm sorry. Open this up. Bring out the wrist and close. No, before you close it back up, you're gonna bring out the forearm from the arm as such. It's like on a double hinge as well. Then you close close it up. Come over here, same verse or no, different verse, same as the first. I can never say that right on the first try. Bring this out. Take out the wrist, unfold that, close, and just straighten out the arms. There you go. Good, 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 good. Come over here. Oh, the nose cone. Will it be easy for me, nose cone? Yeah, easy. Just unsnap. Peg will go to the top hole, the bottom peg will go to the bottom hole. Easy, right? You just flip these up. Before we continue on, we'll get his head. Bring it up. The back panel disconnect from the back of his head. That peg will go to the back of his head. And this is just to... Oh. I'm falling. Unfold it just to fit in there. Now come over here, continue bringing up these two, 
and you're gonna how does it want to go down it's always some trouble one if it's not one thing it's the other you're gonna fold the backpack down so you see these two tabs will go into those slots here so why is it so stiff here Let's unfold that I guess unfold it fold it off screen Okay. Okie dokie. You just have to have it close to you. Can't do it with your arms stretched out. So you just gotta have to work your way in, work your way in, and connect that. Bring down the wings. Bring down the wings. And you can fold them any way you like. This part, you just go down here. And there you go. Actually, no. You don't want to do that. I'm going to take this. Bring it back. This tab will go into that hole right there. And you just got to press in. Aha. And, of course, you can't complete a Seeker without their no rays. Actually, technically, I think only Starscream's lasers are null rays. At least in the Generation 1 continuity. His no rays, why is called no rays? Because he could nullify any electronics. And I guess the other seekers are just lasers. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Look into your Transformers lore. And that is Skywarp. Now let's take a look. I think he has the same scope. Oh, Starscream, yeah. Same Starscream head. Not the smirk of Red Wing. And just... It is the same toy. The same toy as Starscream and Red Wing. Just different colors. That's how they got away with it back in the day. Is there a smudge on the lens? I can't tell. A little smudge right there? Or is it my viewfinder? Well, I'll find out when I'm editing, and you'll let me know in the comments that there's a smudge the whole time. That's how they got away with it in the 80s and the 90s. Uh, slap a new coat of paint on a pre-existing toy, boom, different character. And that's what they did with the Seekers. And it works. It works. I don't know why, but for some reason, it works with these jets. Bottom here, you could put stuff here for the rocket boots. And on the back, any weaponizers you want to put back here. It does seem like he's supposed to have light piping, but I don't know if they pin it over the eyes or just bad lighting. I can't tell. So articulation wise, his head is on a ball joint a bit, but he can't turn all the way. No, he can. I thought the... His pillars will be in the way. But he does have a little little wag to his head tilt. A little bit. His arms, not ball joints, but they have full range of motion. He does have bicep upper bicep swivel. You can go all the way around if you choose to. Elbow all the way up this way. And all the way back that way that far just due to transformation his wrist can swivel all the way around he does have waist rotation but his backpack will be in the way Let's get the arm out of the way he could kick that far Go all the way back that far again this will be in the way but we'll just move it it's like a it's not a ratchet joint. It's almost one. It's almost a ratchet joint. Upper thigh rotation. Knee. His toes could go... Well, his whole leg could go up and down. Oh, my hand's in the way. His whole leg could go up. The booster part will bring out the toes and the heel. So, slight angle tilt. So yeah, there you go. For comparison with another uh, toy, 
or another deluxe. Let's bring in Covert Clone Size Wipe. See how he matches up with this. Fold this down a bit. There you go. Deluxe class. We we got Voyager class Soundwave, and again they're about the same height, same mode. Well, not the same mode, but same uh, class. Mm -hmm. And let's put these guys to the side for now. We'll you'll come back later. But, but let's bring in Red Wing and Starscream. Ah, Red Wing, you fell. There you go. See uh, the three seekers so far. Yeah, he does have the same same mode on the head rather but Red Wing has that smirk see the smirk now let's look at the paint I did have a hunch uh, let's see yeah it's the same pattern splotches right there same splotch pattern. Uh, it could show up on screen. Yeah. Even the battle damage is the same between between seekers. Huh. I thought it would be like, like nah. It would be it would be randomized. It would be too much. So it's just the same computerized slop of paint. Now for, let's see how before we finish off. Let's see how the the plate is supposed to look. Now, why is this connected better than his loose one? We'll find out. And I, I read it was just a pin, but it doesn't seem to be a pin in there. Unless there's a pin sticking out that goes in a bit, so when this comes out you could just plug it in a little bit better I'm not, I'm not gonna test it out right now yes, I guess it's like a little something missing to hold that in place but once you're in robot form you just press it in it doesn't come out Ooh. so it's just for those early star screams There you go. And let's bring in the whole group now. With the the Decepticon Phantom Squadron. And we'll just give you this. <laughs> oh, does it wanna go in? Work with me. Work with me off camera. Oh that's tight. That is tight. And they there are they there uh there they are. Decepticon Phantom Sprite Phantom I can't talk, okay? And I make a living talking. Now if you want to pick these guys up, again as far as I I remember these are an Amazon exclusive, so you need to go to the website if you want to finish your seeker collection or you want to finish your target master collection give this to Spinister and give this to Scourge well that's pretty much it for now again Amazon look them up or if you could find them at other online retailers go right ahead Amazon's not paying me this is not a paid promotion for Amazon but it could be but it's not so Amazon, you wanna give me a little money? Huh huh huh? This is this is not paid endorsement. I am this is all about my whole collection's out of my own pocket. So until next time, this is Average Man saying, see ya.